How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm gonna show you how to hide any app on your iPhone for real. And when I say hide it for real, I do mean it. With this process, we'll be able to completely hide any app or multiple apps if you want to from your home screen, but also from Spotlight Search. So if you search for the app, it won't show any results and also from the app library. That's right, it'll completely vanish from the app library. You won't be able to find it if you tap here and search for it, the same thing. It's gonna completely vanish until, of course, we unhide it. So, let me show you how to do this on this updated video for 2024 in the latest versions of iOS. Let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial to work, we will need to download an app. But don't worry because it's a free app. The whole process is free. Okay, so tap on the App Store and then tap on Search. And then we're gonna look for Screen Time. Okay, wait for it, it's not really screen time, okay? So, screen time control, as you can see it already, screen time control. I'm gonna have all of the info on the screen and a direct link right here in the description. So, as you tap on that link, you're gonna go straight to this page, so you're not gonna confuse it with any other app. So, as you can see, I have previously downloaded it for you, it'll say get and it'll say that it has in-app purchases. But as I said, the tutorial is free. You don't need to pay for those purchases or anything like that. I only have the free version, okay? So I'm gonna download it, right? Let it do its thing. It's super quick, as you can see it already. Let's open it up. And as you can see, it's gonna already ask you for a premium version, but as I said, you don't have to pay for anything. You can tap here on limited version, and the only difference is we're gonna see some ads every once in a while, okay? So go ahead here and allow STC to access screen time. So STC actually works together with screen time in order to actually hide the apps, which is actually what we want, right? So continue, as you can see, so allow access to screen time, you can tap here on allow, as you can see, and allow with face ID, as you can see right there. Don't worry if you don't feel comfortable with this afterwards, I'm gonna show you how to completely remove all of those accesses, okay? So let's go ahead here and tap on done. So. We're good to go. We have already set up and we are linked with screen time. And the way this works is with a focus, pretty much the same way like we have focus right here, right? So let's go ahead here and tap on create a new focus. And then you can create the way you want, the color that you want and the name that you want. I'm gonna name this focus hide, just like that. So tap here on name and I'm gonna name it hide, right? So it's gonna be pretty clear what we wanna do. So done. And next, of course, you can change that and add it if you want to. And then right here, we have this interface in which we can choose the app that we actually want to hide. So you can go ahead and hide full categories of apps, like for example, social, as you can see right here. So you can tap on it and then it'll hide all of them. Or of course, you can hide individual apps, right? So let me just show you before I hide those because I wanna show you that it actually works. So as you can see, I have Instagram right here and I have YouTube right there. So just to see it, their normal position, right? And you see that I'm gonna hide after I'm done setting it up, right? So I'm gonna tap here on social and then Instagram and I wanna go ahead here on YouTube. So those are the two ones that I wanna hide. I also wanna hide the YouTube studio. So tap here on studio and hide. That's important for us YouTubers, right? So we're done, you can tap on cancel here. So we have three apps, right? Instagram, YouTube, and studio. Tap on done, right there at the top. And then right here, we wanna set it for permanent. So when that focus is on, the hide focus that we created, right? When the hide focus is on, it'll permanently hide those apps. You don't need to change any of those settings, just next, right? And right here, a summary. So right here, the focus name, hide. It'll block, so it'll hide, right, permanently those apps. And as you can see right here, hide apps. That's what it do. That's the protection, hide. That's what we want. So again, you don't need to change anything and save. And then as you can see, we're good to go. 
the focus is enabled. And then when we go ahead and exit STC and go ahead and take a look, they're gone. As you can see, we don't have Instagram, we don't have YouTube, and we don't have YouTube Studio either. And as I said, if you actually pull down here and I look for Instagram, nothing will show up, just threads, as you can see. If I go ahead here and look for Studio, right? YouTube Studio, remember we had the YouTube Studio hidden, so as you can see, nothing either. No mention of YouTube Studio, no mention of YouTube, nothing. And the same goes with the app library. It won't show up here, you can take a look, it's not here, and if you tap here on the app library and go for Insta, same thing, it doesn't exist. If we go here for YouTube, it doesn't exist. Studio, same story, it doesn't exist. So as you can see, it completely and fully hides any app or multiple apps that we want. And I know you're thinking right now, okay, but what if the person knows about this, opens up STC and disables the focus? That's right, if you disable it, the apps will come back. But of course, STC is smart and you can actually protect STC. So let's re-enable the feature. And let me go ahead here and tap right there in the top right hand corner at this gear at our settings and then enable Face ID. And of course, now STC is protected with my face. So then, as you can see, I have enabled, right, the, the focus. So then the apps are gone again. And if the person wants to go ahead and open up STC, as you can see, face ID. So then you will need to put your face and then every once in a while it's gonna ask, right, for the premium, you don't need that, you can tap on limited version. And then there you go. Now, after putting your face ID, you will be able to have access to the app. As I said, sometimes you have ads. If you have them, go ahead here and continue to app and then you can fully use the app once again. And then that's it, guys. You have full control on how to hide any of your apps right here on your iPhone updated process to 2024. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna say, okay, Daniel, but what if somebody gets my iPhone and tap on settings and then scrolls down and tap on screen time and right here, they go ahead and disable the STC integration with screen time. If they do that, STC stops working and then the apps will show up. Yeah, but if you go ahead and try and disable it, it's gonna ask for Face ID. That's right, even the integration is protected, as you can see right here. Meaning, this process, this tutorial right here, can't be bypassed, it can't be breached, because once you actually download SDC, set it up, and hide your apps, only you will be able to go ahead and open STC because of Face ID, and only you will be able to go ahead and disable that feature on screen time because again, it asks for Face ID. And that's exactly how you will be able to unlink if you want to. So for example, if you use STC, but if you don't wanna use it anymore, then the process is the exact opposite. So you go ahead, open up STC, of course, you're gonna need Face ID every single time. As I said, that's the protection. Sometimes it's gonna ask for the premium, right? So then tap on limited version, and then if you see ads, same story. So sometimes you will actually need to go ahead and continue to app, but the ads are super fast, as you can see. So then if you don't wanna use it anymore, disable the feature right here. You can also go ahead and slide and delete the focus if you don't want it anymore. And then of course, your apps are gonna come back so all of my three apps are back and then I can delete STC if I don't want it anymore either, delete the app altogether and then on my settings, on my screen time, I go ahead and disable the feature, use Face ID of course and then it's not linked to my screen time anymore. So then it's completely gone, deleted and all that. So then guys, that's exactly how you fully, completely and really hide any app on your iPhone for real. Hope you liked this video. I think this method is absolutely insane. I hope you liked it as well. Leave the like button down below. It helps me out so much. And I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.